Hi everyone, I'm Anna, your cinephile host. How many kinds of love do you know? Have you ever heard of unrequited love? Unrequited means one-sided affair. Even in a seemingly stable romantic relationship, there is a good chance that one of the parties might have an affair. Unrequited love happens. Shakespeare said, journeys end in lovers' meeting. The Holiday is exactly that kind of movie about love encounters and parting. There are some great dialogues I'd love to show you. You know, I never realized how pathetic you are. Really? Oh, God. I'm so aware of it. Oh, they always know just how to get us, don't they? He knows whenever he wants to come crawling back into your life. Actually, he has made some small comments like that recently. But he hasn't exactly come right out and said it, but he's... Iris. Iris Simpkins, a society columnist for the Daily Telegraph in London, has long been in love with co-worker Jasper, though he is seeing another woman. When Iris learns they are engaged, she is distraught and wants a life change. At the same time, in Los Angeles, Amanda Woods, a workaholic business executive, discovers her boyfriend Ethan has been cheating on her with his receptionist. After breaking up with him, she decides to get away for the Christmas holiday. She visits a home exchange website on which Iris has listed her cottage in Surrey, England. Amanda contacts Iris and they agree to swap homes for nearly two weeks. Are there any men in your town? <laughs> Honestly? The night Amanda stays in Iris's cottage, Iris's brother Graham knocks at the door, thinking Iris is home, and asks to spend a night as he often does after drinking at the pub. Amanda agrees, and after some flirtation, they kiss and later sleep together. In the morning, Graham receives phone calls from Sophie and Olivia, leading Amanda to suspect he has multiple girlfriends. Graham invites Amanda to dinner if she changes her mind about returning to Los Angeles, which she does. They spend more time together, but Amanda is concerned their relationship will be complicated after she leaves England. I'm not going to fall in love with you, I promise. Okay. Nicely put, thank you. No, I, I, it's just that I, I, I know myself. Uh, I'm not sure I even fall in love. Not like the way other people do. How's that for something to admit? Well, like I said, most interesting girl award. In Los Angeles, Iris befriends an elderly neighbor named Arthur Abbott, who was a screenwriter during the golden age of Hollywood. Arthur notes that Iris's relationship with Jasper is not serving her well and suggests movies to watch with strong female characters in hopes she can acquire gumption and self-confidence. Iris, in the movies we have leading ladies and we have the best friend. You, I, I can tell, are leading lady. But for some reason, you're behaving like the best friend. You're so right. You're supposed to be the leading lady of your own life, for God's sake. Arthur, I've been going to a therapist for three years. And she's never explained anything to me that well. That was brilliant. Brutal, but brilliant. Iris discovers that the Writers Guild of America wants to recognize Arthur with a gala event, but he is reluctant because he does not expect many will attend, he does not walk without a walker, and does not want to embarrass himself on stage. Iris encourages him to go, and they undertake an exercise program to help him walk unassisted. Arthur, this is a big deal. You know, and they want to do this soon. Listen, I reckon that with a little bit of exercise, you could walk out there on your own and, you know, maybe I could go with you as, like, your date or something. I would take you proudly, my darling, but I'm not going. Anyway, how would you propose to get me in shape? Seriously. Easy. Ladies and 
gentlemen, Mr. Arthur Abbott. I'll take you up, Mr. Abbott. <laughs> I'll do it. At Arthur's award ceremony, a standing ovation from the full theater gives Arthur the confidence to walk on stage unassisted. On Christmas Eve, Amanda surprises Graham at his house, where she meets his young daughters, Sophie and Olivia, and realizes the calls he received were from them. Graham reveals he is a widower and chooses not to introduce his daughters to women he dates, though Amanda is a big hit with both girls. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you pass me those glasses when I need them. Amanda, you're going to love this. It's so funny. I mean, you're, you'll fall off your chair. It's so funny. Hello. <laughs> 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 oh, my God, I'm a duck in head. Hello, children. Who's next? Who's this? Amanda. And why has she got that funny accent? Amanda. Yes, but where is she from? <laughs> Graham confesses his love for Amanda the night before she is scheduled to depart England, but she is still doubtful a long-distance relationship will work. On her way to the airport, she realizes she also loves Graham and eventually reunites with him at the cottage. Amanda says she has decided to stay to spend New Year's Eve with him, and they embrace. At Graham's house on New Year's Eve, Iris and Miles celebrate with Amanda, Graham, and his daughters. Good morning. I, I counted. Nine movies are opening today. I remember when nine movies would open in a month. Now, a picture has to make a killing the first weekend or they're dead. This is supposed to be conducive to great work. Arthur, have you always been this feisty? Well, I may have slowed down a little, but yes, you've got to fight the fight, kid. In the beginning, I introduced you to the word unrequited. Do you remember what it means? Remember one-sided affair or love? Love indeed develops compassion between two people. Yet, in the end, many people will live like Arthur, old and alone, whether you like it or not. Therefore, we are all unrequited in the end with someone or something. It's love that gives us the strength to go on alone. I'm Anna. Thanks for watching this episode. Hope you've learned something. You'll find more episodes on Funday website. See you guys there.